Rob Portland's Memorial Coliseum just now moments away from the introduction of both teams for game three. Rockets leading two games to none. My friends, if you were watching on Sunday night, a couple of nights ago from the summit in Houston, Texas, you may have seen the defensive play of the year. I know Rod Strickland thinks so. Now you can. Oh, you can look steal. at that steal. Strickland, get in there. Honestly, if they could catch me, to be honest with you, uh, I really wasn't even concentrating on them. I got the ball, and I was just headed to the basket. You know, I kind of saw him when I first got the ball, so I'm kind of take the step towards, you know, like chasing me. But I really didn't look back at him, and I really didn't think he could catch me. <laughs> and there's the guy. Well, they had two fast guys, Steve. <laughs> well, that's well, why they came out of nowhere, the big fellow. That's why they call him the big cat. Elijah Wan has the ability not only to run the floor, but to react and get to a ball perhaps quicker than any other center. He and David Robinson, they're a net apart in that regard in terms of reacting, leaving their feet, and covering territory and getting to blocks. I've seen him come from underneath the basket and block jump shot. The head coach of the uh, Houston Rockets, the veteran, Rudy Tomjanovich and he has some designs on closing it out tonight. It's over as far as he's concerned. We know we could win here. Uh, we've done it twice, but it, it means nothing. You got to go out and do it again. I'm sure, you know, this is uh, a do or die situation for them. We're going to see all kind of different things. They're going to uh, you know, try every option they've got. We'll probably see some presses. We'll probably see some different things in the post. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to be ready to deal with, with those things. Rudy T, he's done a terrific job. For Portland, who will step to the front tonight? Will they all be on the same page? Stay with us, my friends. We'll all find out together. It's time for the introductions for both teams. I can tell you one thing, this crowd is ready tonight. Hopefully they'll stay this way the entire night. Now let's go to public address announcer Mike Stone. Rockets with head coach Rudy Tomjanovich, assistant coaches Carol Dawson, Bill Berry, and Larry Smith, the trainer, Ray Melchiori. Here is the Rockets starting five. At one forward, 6'10", number 25, Robert Ori. At the other forward, 6'10", number 33, Otis Thorpe. At center, number 34, Hakeem Olajuwon. At a guard, 6'4", number 11, Vernon Maxwell. And at guard, 6'3", number 30, Kenny Smith. Jack Shallow, John Wetzel, and Kip Mata, and the trainer Mike Shaminsky. Here's your starting five. At one forward, 6'10, number three, Cliff Ford Robinson. At the other forward, 6'8, number 52, Bob Williams. At center, 6'11, number 24, Chris Dudley. One guard, 6-3, number one, Rod Strickland. And at guard, 6-7, number 22, Clyde Drexler. The official four tonight. Head coach, Rick Adelman. Big chore tonight for the coaching staff and for his squad. Will they be able to continue on Take a fourth game and maybe a fifth game. So what's it going to take? Win. 
We'll add that to Malcolm X's famous statement, by any means necessary. <laughs> and they have to go out. They have to be aggressive throughout the ball game. They have to have good shot selection. They certainly have to be patient at the offensive end, but they got to do whatever it takes because once you get one, you have a chance to get two. That sort of says it all, by any means necessary. And there, the starting lineups and the battle in the middle. Well, the Trailblazers are coming with their big lineup, Williams, Robinson, Dudley, and they're certainly going to try to, to take advantage of their advantages. Cliff against Robert Ory, the fact that Dudley at least will be able to put some defensive pressure against the lies on, make them work a little bit harder for his scoring opportunities. And, and then Portland backcourt has got to respond. They've had good games, each individual, but on off night. So collectively, if Drexler, Porter, and Strickland can come together, uh, they can get into Maxwell Smith and Sam Cassell. The officials tonight, Jimmy Clark, Dick Pavetta, Dan Crawford will work the game. Dudley and Elijah Wan from the sky cam. They'll jump it up. Jimmy Clark will toss it in the air. Game three is underway. Rockets have the ball. There's some confusion. Uh, Drexler got down, and uh, uh, Robinson, the well, no, Robinson finally picked up Maxwell, so now they got everybody covered. Shot clock at nine, and Akeem drills the first shot of the night. When in doubt, give him the ball. He's averaging 36 points in two games. That's He's right. a great player, and I think you just have to understand his greatness and what it causes teams to do. Here's an ad center. Elijah on. And now Strickland, the game is tied. Stay with us, everybody. This could be some kind of night. Next down on Mad Max. Here's where you want to have pressure on the passer so they just can't drop it in. They're able to get the good entry pass, and like Corey did the first time, the last game here, he makes the first three-point field goal. Houston up by three on that long bomb by Robert Ory. Robinson going to drive and try to get it blocked by Akeem. Got it back. They get a piece of it again, and Thorpe up with the ball. To Smith, Henny up the middle. Short. Follow through Ori. He couldn't hang on and out of bounds to Portland. The one thing that Rudy Tomjanovich knows that he has is the ultimate rejector in Elijah Wan. So Portland can't be intimidated, although they know they're going to see some balls come back they got to continue to attack the glass. Hopefully, he'll pick up a couple of fouls. Drexler from outside for two. Rockets by one. I agree. Penetrate. Take it in there. Let the guy be a fly swatter. Maxwell off balance. He doesn't get it. Rebound. Buck Williams is first. Blazers can take the lead. Drexler at the elbow. Shot clock at 12, Strickland. Offensive rebound. Now Robinson. Tips in his own miss. He kept right on going up the middle, leaped into the air, and put it down. Blazers lead. You see the Rockets want to slow things down, bring it to the left side of the floor, get it into the big belt. And they do, and the fadeaway over at Dudley. He did it all Sunday night. Rockets by one. The oohs and the ahs of the crowd here at the MC. They should ooh and all. Uh, the thing that you want to remember is that Elias Wan hadn't been stopped all year long. Right. And uh, because you have Dudley on him, you're only going to make him work harder as Drexler draws a foul against Vernon Maxwell. Maxwell, hoping that the official would go his way, sees his first, fall, first foul called against him. And down along the side, swing it. Back to Clyde. Clyde from the right corner. And Ori up with the ball for Houston. Kenny Smith. Pick and roll with Fortis Thorpe. Bingo. Just like that. Nobody picked him up. That's a patented play. Kenny Smith in OT. Dudley in the middle. Here comes one over Elijah Wan. The penetration by Strickland and the read of where Elijah Wan was, he challenged both players. And what the Rockets like to do on their other players, run a pick and roll on this side. That's how Otis Thorpe scored the last time. 
Side to side, they throw it over the top. Offensive rebound by Elijah Wan and a foul. Keeps right after it. Dickie Bavetta will tell us. That's going to be on Chris Dudley, and that'll be his first. Good pressure on the shot by Kenny Smith, but when you leave Elijah on, that's going to allow him to get into the basket. He's always been a great offensive rebounder. Got that one. Now he has a chance to score from the line for the first time tonight. That's his 28th time at the line. He's 22 of 28. And for Chris Dudley, what? His sixth or seventh game? Sixth game, I guess. Rockets lead by two. First period, 8.35 to go in game three. Rockets win, it's over. Glaciers can keep it alive. Drexler out on top, shot clock at seven. Inside, Robinson, Jeremy. Nicely done. Left with four in the game. We're even at 10. How about the Miami Heat? My goodness. They did it to the Hawks again. It can be done. Corey, offensive foul. Yes, taking the charge. Buck Williams. Gail yeah, Robert Ory gets a technical thrown against him after Buck Williams draws his foul. He slams the ball down, so Portland will walk to the other end, shoot a free throw. Bam! Can't do that. Now Drexler at the line to attempt the technical. The beauty of that, the beauty of that picture right there was it was Vernon Maxwell trying to calm down Robert Ory, and you know Maxwell is a very emotional guy yeah. himself. Isn't that something? Blazers have the ball in backcourt. They have a one-point lead at the time remaining in the first period. You can feel it in the building tonight, my friends. Haven't felt this way for a while. Up the middle, Buck Williams. They're taking it to the paint. Portland, biggest lead by three. Elijah Wan, double team this time, finds Ori, and uh, he scores, and he's fouled. No matter how many people, in most cases, Steve, they have around big number 34, he can find somebody open with the ball. Elijah Wan has improved so much in that one particular area of reading where the double team comes from, yeah. being willing to let someone else have a chance to score. The Rockets all now dive into the basket. They call a foul. They're trying to get this call against uh, someone else other than Chris Dudley, but they call Dudley for the foul. Mark Bryant will check in, and for Chris Dudley, he picks up his second personal foul. Now, the time remaining in the first period, 7.41 to go. This to tie for the Rockets, and we're even again. 13 apiece. Pressure by Kenny Swift on Strickland. Cross court to Buck Williams works the ball in the front court. They double team him. Little pressure. Strickland finds the seam. Hands off to Mark Bryant. First shot. Offensive rebound. Buck Williams. Blocked. And they're going to call a foul. And guess who that's on? Akeem Olajuwon. I'll say this all night long, but Elijah Wan chases more shots than any other center. Right here, Buck is going to try to take it back up. Elijah Wan looked like he, he got a bad call against him, but no complaint right now. But that's what you want to do. Keep the pressure on the official and make them make the decision. Tom Janovich knows that Portland's going to challenge at the basket tonight. Buck Williams with four points, and now five points and four rebounds already for Buck. Portland up by two, 15-13. Both teams have had three-point leads early in the game. Maxwell, Elijah Wan, medium low post, Smith, swing it. Find the open man, Corey. He's tied up. Buck Williams strips him of the ball. And a 20-second timeout called by Portland. Smart play. Smart play. And Buck Williams had the ball in his hand, but he couldn't find a passer. Rather than give it up to a jump ball situation, he calls time. A full timeout is called.
7-11 remaining to be played in the opening period in Portland leading by two here in game three. What do you see so far, Pardo? Well, I see Portland being more patient at the offensive end and reacting better defensively. They're trying to apply more pressure at the point of attack so that they can't get the ball into Elijah Wan as easily, and then they're reacting much better. The Houston Rockets, they have tried to make no changes in their game plan. They're going to drop it into Elijah Wan and force Portland to react, and they've had some good results here early as well. And they're also taking it up the middle, which I like to see, too, right now. Portland's got to continue to, you know, attack the basket, knowing that Elijah Wan is going to come try to find his man. Rocket shooting an extremely high percentage right now. Portland shooting the ball uh, at a good clip themselves, but you've got to get the Rockets uh, to become more of a perimeter team, and that's what's going to turn Portland loose into an open court. 15-13 in the opening quarter. Miami over Atlanta tonight, 90 to 86 to take a lead in that series. Chicago at Cleveland, that game going on, plus this one. All right, time back in, my friends. Portland with a two point lead and the ball out along the side. And this guy's leading the troops so far tonight. Said at the outset, who would step up? Will everybody be playing on the same page? So far, so good. Bryant, Williams, good ball movement by Portland. Pop out, Drexler, there he is. Thorpe picks him up, takes him baseline drive, back out to Cliff Robinson, and lost the ball, got it again, and then lost it. Maxwell was right there, couldn't corral it. Turnover for Portland. Now the Rockets with an opportunity to tie. They take every opportunity and get it done. They won 58 games this year. Elijah on far side, double team. You gotta watch where Rob Rory goes. He faked in, came back out, but he missed that three. And chases it into the corner, but it's Portland ball. Good hustle by Robert Ory. He was wide open, too, for another three. Well, Rudy wants him to take those three-point shots. He, 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 if he doesn't take it, he's going to take him out of the game. Strickland. And Elijah Wan picks it up. His second rebound of the game. Maxwell, Drexler, defensively on him, into Thorpe. Going to work on Bucks. Offensive foul. Oh, there's Thorpe. 6-10 award for overacting early in the ball game. Buck Williams. The arm will go out on Otis Thorpe. Watch the left arm come out, and uh, that's where the call is made. <laughs> Buck Williams puts a little extra in it. Yes, sir. You can't then you can't fend the defender off with that off arm. Now you need a score. And Cliff does it. Chases it down. Blazers get it back. Nice hustle play by Cliff Robinson. All at midcourt. Buck. Still going, Drexler from downtown, rips! Really, it's not a three, it's a two, but the Blazers will take it. Their biggest lead by four. Drexler with five in the game. Ori, nice stretch move along the end line. Robert Ori, their leading scorer, he's got six. That has to be one of the real remarkable stories of the NBA season. A guy that's been traded, being able to come back and be a positive contributor on a team that's driving for a championship. Buck Williams, six points, four rebounds for Buck, and it's a four-point Blazer lead again. Thorpe, cross-court pass. They do it a lot. Akeem out high, Maxwell back out to Akeem. Gets to the foul line, dropped it underneath for Thorpe. Everybody in the building thought by gosh the guy the big fellow was going to take that shot probably could but he knew he had Thorpe over there or somebody in that case it was OT easy too. right now it's the front line of the Rockets that carrying them they're going to get an illegal defense against Kenny Smith yep. no man's land. Four forty four to go. Drexler baseline, Maxwell, 
Takes him to the paint. Turn around. A little hook shot. Buck Williams, there he is again. Buck Williams, his fifth rebound and his eighth point of the game. 21 17. Elijah Wan double team him again. Smith swing it around. Over to Maxwell for three. Bingo. Now the problem that you have is that you didn't have the rotation. Drexler dropped down, but then had to chase all the way back out. And by that time, Maxwell parked right on the line. Strickland penetrates along the end line, and he picks up a couple of more. Blazers lead by three. 335 to go in the opening period. Smith. Little shake and bake move by Kenny Smith. Strickland up on him. Ori. Smith. Shot clock at 10. Akeem. Ori up the middle. Too easy. Jams it down. Robert Ori. He's got eight in the game. 6'10, a second year pro from the University of Alabama. He's been a big factor for them in this series. And for the last month, he's played very, very well for the Rockets. Oop, almost a travel by Strickland. Fighting Buck Williams, the hot man. Two more. He's got ten. Where would they be without this guy so far tonight? He's four for four, as a matter of fact. Two unlikely uh, offensive heroes right now, and Buck Williams and Robert Ory. Ryan says he got all ball, but the whistle goes in favor of Elijah. Dickie Mavetta making uh, the call. And Mark Ryan picks up the foul. As you recall, Chris Dudley started, picked up two quick fouls. Terry Porter getting off the bench now. He'll be coming in momentarily. And Elijah Wan right back to the free throw line. 310 to go in the opening quarter of game three. Nothing rattles. Big fella. Here comes Terry Porter. And in game two, yes, sir. I'll never forget that night. 46 big ones, Steve. Boy. What a headache when that game was over. Portland by one. Elijah Wan with seven points for the Rockets. See if Porter comes in the game as a, and is as aggressive in the, this game as he was in game one. For three. You better believe it. He was wide open. He looked left. That was not the design play, but he was so wide open he had to take that shot. Portland by four. Now you got to watch Ori, and they're not getting to him soon enough, but he's the guy that's making the play. So they're finding him on the weak side. That time he dropped it into Otis Thorpe for a two over the top. Boy, he has quick hands. He's one of the better slam jammers in this league. Drexler around to Keem. Threw it back out, but Robinson happened to be there to Drexler. Nine seconds on the clock around Maxwell. Underneath, Mark Bryant. Ball is loose and picked off by Ori. Behind the back dribble, Bryant picks it up. Buck Williams brings it back out. They'll regroup. Robinson for three. And obviously it doesn't go. He had plenty of time on the clock, too. Two minutes. Under two minutes remaining to be played. Portland by two. Hakeem, here he comes. He wanted to jam it, but. Lock. Robinson. Porter. Change of pace dribble. Williams for two more. 12 in the game. And a timeout. Houston.
Kirby Grant will check into Portland's lineup for the first time tonight. It'll be Bryant, Buck Williams, and Grant with Porter and Drexler. That's the Blazer lineup right now. Rudy Tom Janovich stays with the same group. Smith, Maxwell, Thorpe, Ori, and Elijah Wan. Rudy is probably going to play at max nine players, no more than eight, as they try to get this game and, and get out of town. So uh, you're going to see quite a bit of the starting lineup tonight. Blazers showed trap for a moment. Shot clock down to 10. Maxwell finds room. Scoop to the hoop. Tip in by Otis Thorpe. They keep it alive. Thorpe had it, batted it around. It's loose, and the last guy to touch it and score, Elijah Wan. Oh. Blazers did everything they could. Elijah Wan, with his quick hands, is a guy that made that play. He poked it away and then finally got in a position to be able to finish. Bryant the pick. Porter drives, switches to the left hand, and all he had was the window. Thought he was fouled, and here comes the transition game, and Kenny Smith and Houston, they tie the game just that quick. They get out and run on you, folks, and you've got to be ready. Now they double-team Terry. A new look. Swing it over to Drexler. He penetrates up the middle. No. And Buck Williams had the ball but couldn't hang on to it. Out of bounds, it'll be Houston ball. Now here comes Carl Herrera and Sam Cassell in the bowl game for the Rockets for the first time. All of this with the 32 seconds remaining to be played in the period. <laughs> Drexler and Elijah have a few words, and uh, oh, yeah. Elijah was telling him, don't come in here, because I'll get that shot the That's next right. time. Drexler almost got that one to go in, but uh, it came out, so it's tied at 30. Very close friends, dear friends. Tied at 30, time remaining. Play for the final shot, Cassell, Herrera out high. Cassell can hit that bomber, so can Ori. Now they get it into a team. Right-handed hook shot, and Buck Williams with the rebound. He's got six of those. Porter's got time to get a shot. And Terry's going to take it for three. Right on the mark, but here comes the horn. And uh, Rockets don't get it off in time, even though Maxwell put it down. Time ran out, and after one, we're tied at 30. Other scores around the league tonight. How about Miami, Steve? Well, Miami, even with uh, Grant Long out, uh, won that first game, so they got to feel good about their position. But Atlanta has shown resiliency all year long. This may be the first five-game series in that first round in the Eastern Conference. Oh, yeah. Chicago beat Cleveland after being behind most of the game. They went in overtime. They they were expected to win the series. Uh, Chicago uh, faced a decimated Cleveland team, so they advanced, and uh, people in Chicago now beginning to think maybe four, maybe four, and no one's talked about them because they are the three-time defending champion. That's exactly uh, right. Somebody's got to, to uh, take the crown away. And Hollywood checks in to Portland's lineup. James Robinson and Matt Fullard at 6'10". Uh, and it was fourth year out of Iowa in there for uh, the Rockets. There's the first quarter scoring. Percentage shooting, not bad for both teams. We're even at 30. Now with Bullard out on the floor, you know he's primarily a perimeter threat. You got to stay with him. If you make him shoot under pressure, uh, you, you really hurt the Rockets. Let's see if Portland can get Grant Porter going at the offensive end. Here comes former Trailblazer Mario Ellie into the uh, Houston lineup. Had a big three the other night. Well, Rudy didn't like the matchup, so he got it. Bullard out of the ball game. Three seconds on the shot clock. Inbound. Get it, Mark Bryant. Score the basket. Just like that. You know who he went around? Elijah Wine. Of course, Akeem didn't have any help from Carl Herrera that time either. Blazers take a two-point lead. Cassell. The best, thing, the best thing about that first quarter of play is that Portland was not behind. In the first two ball games, they've been climbing uphill down in Houston, and uh, so now they have a chance to at least compete on even terms. Again, they drop the ball into Elijah Wan. They allow him to go one-on-one, -on -one, and that was his favorite shot until the league forced him to become a baseline jump shooter. He used to come across the middle all the time. Big three-point play by Elijah Wan. 
Big fella's got 12 points. Rockets lead by one. But a good start for Portland. They're even at 30 at the end of one. Robinson. Strickland. And he's fouled as he starts to drive. Cassell. And he got him on the drive. That'll be Cassell's first. Harvey Grant will inbound. 11 minutes remaining to be played in the half. Off the double screen quarter. Now they double team Terry. They're paying good attention to Terry, Steve, that's for sure. Grant back to Terry Porter. He's knocked to the floor and a foul. And that one's going to be on uh, his own Let's make it Mario Ellie. Good exchange between Grant and Porter. Porter gave it up, went to the hoop, got it back, drew the foul. Terry Porter at the line. Had a terrific game one. Chandler, you want to look for an omen. See those little beads of sweat on Porter's forehead? That yeah. means he's getting into that working mode and uh, should have a very good aggressive game. I talked to him prior to the game. He felt very good about uh, tonight's ball game. The Trailblazers during the 90s, uh, second most uh, playoff game. So that means that they have gone deep into the playoffs and uh, they'd like to get started back on that journey tonight. Terry Porter gets his first two of the night. Portland by one. It's been tip and tuck. Cassell ran on Cassell. Gonna drive, finds Elijah Wan and Jams. Just like that. Pay attention to somebody else. Somebody's always gonna be open. You've got to be aware. And the big fella has 14. The Rockets take a one-point lead. Take them off. Bryant rolls in. Hook shot over a team. Thought he got bumped. But he's got four. All in the second period, Mark Bryant. Adelman wants the same call that Elijah Wan got down at this end. There's Mark Bryant on the team and slapped the ball away from him this time. 13 seconds on the 24. He's playing him tough, I'll guarantee you that. You know he's picked up a couple of fouls. Kelly out on top, Strickland. They grew up together, good friends. Elijah Wan dotted line, he's not going to get this. Mike Bryan kept it alive. Strickland. Bryan's good, look at him, Brindle up the middle. Oh. Six points for Ryan Strickland. Portland by three. Good game, huh, folks? Need to do it for 48, remember that. Casal blocked. But there's Elijah Wan. Mike Bryant got a piece of it, but right to Akeem. 16. My goodness, he had 46 the other night. He's got 16 already. Yeah, he's, he's been able to get to the offensive glass here in a couple of possessions to pick up some cheap points. So Portland's got to make sure that when they collapse, that they, may, they, they have someone between Elijah Wan and the hoop. Double team and Harvey Grant's got to take the shot. Oh, Touch shot. He put it down. Harvey Grant. He had two red shirts all over him. In particular, Kyle Herrera, but he got that one off. 40-37. Again, the problem for Brian is he not moves around that time is getting in front of Elijah on. Hollywood score! And all started with a big defensive play by Mark Bryant. Elijah on. Herrera open. And Grant and the Blazers up for the ball. They have their biggest lead of the game right now. 42-37. Harvey wants the ball. Gets it over to Porter. Four three. Chase down. Robinson. To Grant. He'll try again. Why not? Twenty second timeout. No. Hold it. Full timeout. Full timeout. Called by Houston. Harvey Grant is wide open and uh, has been encouraged to shoot. This is a big basket for Grant and his confidence, his reaction. He's in it and trying to make sure not only does he have the crowd in it, but his teammates as well. Portland with the seven point advantage and they have really done a good job defensively. Elijah one will get his first break and he is the guy that's done all the scoring for them as Portland has a better percentage here in the second quarter. Otis Thorpe, the man in the middle for the Rockets right now. A little pressure by the Blazers. 
Back to one for three. He's not going to get this one. Rebound kept alive by Smith over the quarter. He lost the ball. The Rockets get it back. Maxwell kicked it back out. Mario Ellie, his drive. And there's Harvey Grant. Good hustle by Portland, folks. Good hustle. Now, with this lineup on the floor, Portland can really be aggressive at the offensive end. And Rod Strickland rattled the cage for two more. That was in the hopper. Started to pop out and ricochet back in. Portland, Portland trying to really get some mistakes out of the backcourt with Cassell after out on the floor. Maxwell Park for three. And he's got it. Vernon Maxwell. Maxwell. He's got a couple of threes tonight and a total of six. And Portland leading by six. 7.35 to go, stripping for two more. Off balance, kept alive and batted out front. And there's Mario Ellie. He's going to beat Hollywood down the floor and jammed it. And we have a technical foul on Carl Herrera. And is he ever hot? Jimmy Clark didn't, uh, that was an afterthought after the play at the other end. And now they got to cool down Carl Herrera. And here's the peacemaker again, Martin Maxwell, Steve. Harvey Grant and Herrera got locked up down at the other end and out of it. Herrera, who looked just as surprised as Rudy Tom Janovich, got the technical call against him. Yep. Harvey Grant said, yeah, you should have gotten it call. <laughs> and Terry sinks the technical. 47 to 42. Returning from Portland, Buck Williams. And Buck Williams, the man of the hour into the ball game. He had a terrific first quarter. 12.6 rebounds. Perfect from the field, perfect from the free throw line. Can't get much better than that. But Portland's been more aggressive and more patient uh, in this ball game, and yes. that's uh, yeah. uh, one of the things that's paid dividends for them. And with Elijah Wan out, they can really try to attack the basket. Strickland kept it alive, but it's going to get called for the foul. And Rodick picks up his first, his second personal foul, his first personal foul, excuse me. Drexler will check back in. Three Porter will sit, Drexler back. So it's Strick, Drexler at the small forward spot now. James Robinson and Strickland in the Blazer backward. But this is a small rocket team, and they don't have the hub. They're going to get an offensive foul against Sam Cassell. And we're going to have a timeout. Rudy Tomjanovich, he's all over Dick Bavetta right there. There's an offensive foul on Otis Thorpe. Now the Rockets, who have had everything going their way, for the first two games in practically every department. Now I've got to fight and scratch and claw for everything they can come up with tonight. And Portland, on the other side of the ledger, everything's going well, Stu. Well, it has to go well. They don't want to be in their own building and be behind and struggling for answers right now. Uh, Portland has been the aggressors. That last call went against Sam Cassell. That's his second. Tom Jonovich's uh, complaint and Cassell's was the same. He was being held. So Dick Vivetta said, I don't want to hear it. We are down now to 6.58, remaining to be played here in the first half. The game was tied at 30 apiece, and you can tell, folks, that this crowd is into it tonight. We've had some nights in this building where it hasn't been this explosive, but it is tonight, and that's good to see. Will there be a game four? Portland by five, 47, 42. Coaching staff still on the uh, officials, the Rocket coaching staff. Again, you look at the lineup out on the floor, you see how Portland's bench has performed. 
uh, in tonight's ball game and through the playoffs so far. So Portland's bench has been productive, but Portland has gone deeper into the bench. And with the lineup that they have out there, they really got to think about moving the ball, getting to the basket as quickly as they can. Harvey Grant tickles the twain for two. He's into it. Six in the quarter and the game. Portland by seven. Well, Harvey Grant has been much maligned all season long for yeah. disappearing, but he's an offensive player that has to see the ball go in. Portland rotates. They don't get to Ellie in time. It's a two. He gets two. Yes, sir. They can really swing that ball. you got to be aware now. Dexter in for a jam. Didn't quite get the Didn't jam, but got the two. <laughs> yes, he sure did. He rattled it then. He's got 10-2 in the quarter. Otis Thorpe right there to help the, the cars along. From the corner, Maxwell, uh -oh. and a loose ball foul, and that's going to be on Otis Thorpe. You know, you know the Thorpe went over and said, Danny Crawford, how do you think my shirt got out of my shorts? That's right. <laughs> and I pushed him, but... He pulled all of my clothes apart, and he's still hot about that. Rudy Tomjanovich right now going to try to settle things down. Got Elijah one back out on the floor. And Chris Dudley back in for Portland. Drexler, Buck Williams out on top. And Cliff Robinson wants the ball and should see yeah. it against uh, Mario Elliott. Stickland, Rick. All right, folks. Rip City Tam tonight, six in the quarter, ten for the game, Rod Strickland. And that's the reason why, because they're going to have to collapse on him as long as Ellie's out on the floor. Rod Strickland gets a wide open jump shot. One of our nine, Maxwell had the ball stripped. Drexler on the floor, diving for it, waits, Fritz puts the ball between the legs of Buck Williams to Dudley, now to Strickland. Strickland double team, needs a little help. Dudley back to Strickland. Shot clock at 13. Cross court pass picked off by Mario Ellie. Shuffles it to Cassell. A lock out of bounds. Strickland. Now Drexler is hurting uh -oh. a little bit. And uh, he wants a 20 second timeout. When he went to the floor, he was in pain. He's still in pain as Portland takes a 20 second timeout. Yep. Clyde Drexler quickly to the bench. He uh, he took a blow to the side. Mike Cheminsky working on him. Hopefully it's just uh, had the air popped out of him. Hopefully. The ball goes to the floor and Drexler goes in there with it. And you can't really see whether he got hurt on that play or when he landed on the floor. But when he got up out of the sequence, uh, he was he was uh, in pain a little bit. So he may have not got the wind knocked out of him. He's all right. He's back out on the floor. Yes. Rockets will have 20 seconds on the 24. 53-44 Portland. Coming up to five minutes to go in the first half of game three. Maxwell. Chase Dan Drexler. Oh, he's all right. Look at this in the open court. The Buck Williams. Huge, out of the way, Cassell. Huge save Boy. by Mario and, Ellie. Yes, yes, yes. Incredible. Cassell and Ellie, they really got back. The Clyde was motoring. He was going. Robinson to inbound. From the sky cam, we'll take a look. Buck Williams finding Clyde. Takes the shot. Hello? And that was a little bit uh, not his range right there for that. Ellie on the drive and he goes. Out of the way, out of bounds. It will be Houston ball. Here comes Robert Horry back in for uh, Houston. And Maxwell will sit down. 19 seconds on the 24. Ellie will inbound for the Rockets. Portland leading 53-44. Elijah Wan, just like that, just like that, Akeem with 18. The Rockets have scored 12 points, and he has gotten uh, nine of them in the quarter, so he has been the steady in force and the guy that's trying to keep them close. Good play inside. Buck Williams from Ryan Strickland, and Buck's got a total of 14. He's perfect. Six for six tonight, Buck Williams. 
had some very positive statements for himself and his teammates prior to the game today. Cross court to Ori. Doesn't take the long range shot. Gets it to Akeem. Back to Ori, and there it is. Give it to me. Take off. I'll give it right back to you. Ori with 10. See if Portland comes back to Cliff Robinson because when Robinson gets the ball, the defense of the Rockets has to react. Somebody's going to get an open shot. For three, Drexler. And we're going to have a loose ball foul on Buck Williams. That's just Buck's first of the game, and that's good to see. 341 to go. Portland had a nine point lead. 55 48 is the score right now. All in the hands of Sam Cassell. Or pops. Or he slices. Pop out. Flies one. There he is wide open again. Same play, Steve. Same play as the last time. That just shows the versatility of Elijah Wan, along with Patrick Ewing, uh, great jump shooting centers. And yeah. so that's another way to get him a shot. They screen away, bring him out at the top of the key and let him be the jump shooter. He's the only guy scoring points here in the quarter. You've got two other players that have been involved. Maxwell with a three and uh, Robert Ory with that jam. And a timeout is called with 308 to go in the first half. Portland by five. So when in doubt, you get the ball if you're a rocket to the big fella, Akeem Olajuwon. Two patented plays right out there outside the foul line, wide open. Two. Now you got to credit them. That's good execution, yeah. and it's a change in the way that they're getting the basketball. But again, if he's the only guy that's going to shoot the basketball, you have a chance to beat them. What you don't want is Ori slashing to the hoop, Thorpe slashing to the hoop, getting everybody involved in the game. At this point, he's keeping them close. And if Portland can keep their good balance, they can win the ball game. You're not going to stop Elijah one. I mean, I think you have to recognize that and accept the fact they're going to go to him. And even yeah. if you have to shoot volume, he is going to get a chance to score. Rod Strickland uh, continues to keep the pressure on. He realized that Elijah Wan was out there and guarding him. That allowed him to slip by. But you notice how many times Elijah Wan will try to block a shot. Jumped twice trying to get Buck Williams. Yeah. And then they free him up on this jump shot. As, he, as I've said before, he, he is a terrific jump shooter. He's turned out to be uh, one of those players uh, uh, that's very gifted in, in the sense of uh, being able to shoot a variety of, of jump shots and jump hooks. He, he's just a, a tough offensive player. A terrific rotation of the ball, especially you can see that when you take it in slow motion. He's got a terrific touch. Big guy. Five point Portland lead now. We're down to 3 8 remaining to be played in the first half. Remember, the game was even at 30 apiece at the end of one. It's been a good third NBA playoff game. The scenario, of course, if the Rockets win it, this series is over. Portland wins it. They stay alive, and that will force a fourth game on Friday night. If that's the case, time to be announced later on. Dudley, Robinson, Williams, Drexler, Strickland back out on the floor. This is the first time in the first two games that the Trailblazers are leading at this juncture in the second quarter of play. They've been climbing uphill in games down in Houston. Buck Williams uh, has had a terrific start and the most that he's had since uh, playing against the Clippers. These are all bonus points for the Trailblazers. He's not their primary offensive weapon. Ten seconds on the 24 now. Robinson will inbound at Drexler. Mario Ali, former teammate of a year ago, on him, over to Strickland, got to bring it back out, challenges Smith, shot clock at two, got to take the shot, and it's way off the mark, and here comes Elijah Wan to Ellie. Ellie driving on the wing, into Otis Thorpe, banks it with the left hand, Otis Thorpe, Blazers had a nine-point lead, but the Rockets on a six-to-nothing run. Now Portland, again, if you got to find the play that's going to hurt them, and the play that's going to hurt them the most is Cliff Robinson, and let's see if they go to Cliff. There he is. Wanted to drop it underneath. He does, and Dudley trying to roll it around. Elijah Wan, but a little bit short, and the came up for the ball. Ellie, Thorpe, and he goes. Back over to Ori. Smith for three to tie. He does. Now about that, the game is tied. 
That's a nine to nothing Houston run. Doesn't take long for these guys to get it done. Robinson tried for a jam. Ball out of bounds. Off Chris Dudley. And Harvey Grant will check back into the lineup, and Chris Dudley will sit down. A nine to nothing run in that amount of time. 155. Tied at 55. Rockets are smiling. Ellie's had a big part of that run, too. And this guy, Thorpe, from the dotted line, bounces it around. And it doesn't go. Buck Williams put the ball ahead to Cliff Robinson. Back to Strickland. Still tied at 55. Minute and a half to go. Cliff Robinson unties it. That's his just his sixth point of the game. First two here in the second period, but pulled it back out on top again. Elijah wanted double team and Strickland from behind to slap the ball away. 15 seconds on the 24. Minute 19 to go. In the half. Kenny Smith checking the clock. Over to Ori for three. Air ball. Thorpe tried to save it. Not only tried, he does. Gets it into Elijah one. And his shot is off the mark. Lasers get a break. You got the three on three. Strickland hesitates. Drives into the corner. Grant. Harvey Grant. Big basket. Eight points in the quarter. And a timeout is called by Houston, but Portland leading 59 to 55 after the Rockets charge on a nine to nothing run to come back to tie it. A little 20 second timeout. Portland in transition, trying to beat the Rockets back, who've done a real good job of transition defense. And Rod Strickland creating some penetration will find Harvey Grant. And when Grant sees a couple of balls go in, he's a very confident offensive player tonight. Uh, he's been very sharp. Eight and a quarter for Harvey Grant. That's the series so far. Rockets leading two games to none, and of course, this is the third game tonight. We'll be on Blazer Cable. If there is to be a game four on Friday night, time to be announced. If there's a fifth game in Houston, NBC on Sunday. But first things first. Portland by four. Shot clock at 10, 40 seconds in the quarter. Herrera. Oh, we got a little muscling inside, and that's going to be on Cliff Robinson. He was behind Elijah Wine, and Cliff picks up his first personal foul. Trying to muscle the big fella pretty good. 38 seconds to go in the uh, half. The 24. It's a tough matchup for Cliff, and what you want to do to help him is have pressure on the basketball if you can. Kenny Smith goes down. And they're going to call a foul against Cliff Robinson. And he matches that headband off, yeah. I believe, the call. Back to back fouls on Cliff. And a technical on Cliff Robinson. Called by Dan Grover. <laughs> and Elijah Watt trying to get Harvey Grant to get a technical too. Kenny Smith will attempt the technical on Cliff Robinson. Hopefully it's really hot. So now it's 59-56. Portland by three. And the wet stuff being wiped up. Cliff is still talking to himself. Plops that headband back on. And Kenny Smith now will go to the line. As he was knocked down by Cliff. Cliff's done a good job so far. He doesn't want to allow himself to get distracted by the uh, official. You know, you're, you're going to have to make some adjustments to how the game is officiated. Kenny Smith short on his first attempt. 35.7 seconds to go in the first half. We were tied at 30 at the end of one. Smith gets one. So it's a two-point Portland lead, and they have the ball in the hands of Rodgers. All the way 
to the rack. It'll be good if it goes. You better believe it. It's good. He'll shoot one. Kenny Smith picks up the foul. Penetration again, Steve. Uh, Rod Strickland very quickly in transition before Elijah Wan can get back. You can see Elijah Wan trying to track it. And as I said before, he challenges everybody coming into paint. Strickland has to lock that one up a little bit more. Gets it to fall. And the free throw. Three-point play by Rod Strickland gives him 13 for the game. 62-57. first half where both teams have been able to, to get some real good offensive efficiency. Rockets want to hold for their final possession. Yeah, five seconds on the shot clock. About a four-second differential. Swing it around to Ellie. Ellie launches a three. Right in the nick of time. Mario Ellie, it's a two-point game. Drexler Robinson for three. It was there. And Buck Williams at the horn gets the ball, but the first half is over. And we have ourselves a ball game at the half. Portland by two. Halftime score this Tuesday night of game three out here in the West. And it's Portland leading by two, 62 to 60. It's been a good first half of play, big fella. It's been a, a very good first half of play. The Trailblazers have been very aggressive throughout. The Rockets have been certainly up to the challenge and have responded. But for the first time, Portland's ahead at the yeah, half, that's good. even that's if terrific. it's by just two points. But they've done some very good things, and they've got to continue to play that way for the second half. You know, whenever you're at home, you always feel that you have the edge. The Rockets feel confident because they've won here twice already this season. It's been terrific, and the game was tied, as you recall, at 30 apiece at the end of one. Portland's biggest lead was by nine. Didn't take the Rockets long to come back at that nine to nothing run. You got to continue to remember what, what helped you get the lead. Yeah, yeah. And the Rockets are a team that are going to get back and, and try to score quickly. And so Portland's got to make sure that they have good transition defense. And for the most part in the first half, they did. Let's take a look at some of those highlights right now the first half. Some dandy ones, too, am I, Dad? The Houston Rockets like to drop the ball inside, and they want to make the defense react. And when they do that, they're looking for a three-point field goal. That's the way Robert Ory opened up his first quarter of play. He had 10 in that first quarter. But they're constantly trying to work through either Otis Thorpe or Akeem Olajuwon. They like to run Thorpe on the pick and roll. Remember the year that Olajuwon was out? Otis Thorpe had such a big year because they were picking and rolling, and Olajuwon doesn't do any of that. Rod Strickland knows that Portland has to have penetration and has been challenging Elijah Wan at the hoop the entire first half of play. Drexler uh, had a very good start in that first quarter of play. That three-point field goal continue to give Portland confidence that they could score against the Rockets in a lot of different ways. Buck Williams was the first quarter hero as he had 12 points in that first quarter. A rare jump shot from Buck, but uh, he was very active and very effective in that first half of play. Kenny Smith. And what's bad about that shot? He was looking for a three, but he stepped on the line and ended up getting a two. But they want to try to score quickly after a miss, and they'll take a deep two, and hoping that it'll be a three, and then they'll also look to bring it inside. Elijah Wan has seen Portland double team. They've seen him go one-on-one uh, -on -one against him, but he has been very sharp tonight. He's been able to score almost in all situations. Mark Bryan came in and challenged, did a good job of scoring against Elijah Wan in that first half of play. Portland didn't get as many transition opportunities off of turnovers as they would have liked, but they did catch whenever they got the opportunity. They forced a turnover there and a good, hard, aggressive push by James Robinson. That play, Tom Janovich thought his player had gotten fouled, was off the bench. Terry Porter, uh, who was sizzling in game one, hasn't found it in games two or three yet, uh, but Portland was able to get another guy who's found the torch. Harvey Grant off the bench, and uh, Grant has been red hot. Otis Thorpe uh, is a guy that likes to get close to the rim, and you know, you've got to make sure that he doesn't 
break you down. That's yeah. what happened on that play. He drew two people. That allowed Kenny Smith the chance for the three-point shot. They will shoot the three-pointer, and they always will have someone out on that line making the defense react. They've had five three-pointers tonight, they meaning the Houston Rockets, but at the halfway mark of game three, Portland by two. Strickland keeps it alive underneath the Terry back to Robinson. Shaking job. 85 76 Trailblazer lead. Clyde with a spin dribble coming in left below right. Oh, I don't believe the shot. I just saw. Ooh, how sweet it was. Brown to double team over the head pass to a teammate, Strickland. Good play. Strick, Grant, Dan. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Cross court, James. Put it down. Tricky dribble. Spin dribble. 360 back to a right, left, reverse. Oh, 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 oh. Get it into Rod. Four, not down to three. Not down to two. There's your penetration. Here's Rod Strickland. Yeah! Right down Broadway with two minutes of a second left. Is it back to Terry Porter. Terry Porter's going to drive. Look at him. Brendan up the middle. Oh, it's good. He's fouled. And drive by Terry Porter. Holy backboard. James Robinson's going to drive. Look at him. Brendan up the middle. The cable returns in a moment. Halftime, Tuesday night of game three. Portland leading the Houston Rockets by two, 62 to 60, in a terrific first half of play. It's the 1994 NBA playoffs. And uh, some of the halftime stats, Steve. Elijah is their leading scorer and has had a terrific first half of play. Continues off that 46-point game. Robert Ory after a great start. The only other player in double figures. Ory had 10 in the first quarter of play. Buck Williams, Portland's leading scorer, as everyone looks at that as a bonus. Williams had 12 in the first. Brad Strickland with nine in the second. Uh, ends up uh, with the double figures along with Clyde Drexler. Harvey Grant yet to miss a shot. Elijah Wan, the leading rebounder, followed by Otis Stork. They are the guys that have to carry him on the glass. Buck Williams, he has been Portland's leading rebounder through the season. Both teams extremely hot in that uh, first half. Yeah. So this, this has been an offensive first half, and uh, the Trailblazers have had the edge with the bench and points off of turnovers, but it's only a slight edge as they lead by two. In game two, Portland was down 10, if you recall, uh, to the Rockets at the halfway mark the other night, Sunday. And Blazer Mania in full force here at Portland's Memorial Coliseum uh, tonight. Crowd has been very, very active. You were talking about Harvey Grant, four for four. Buck Williams, six for six. But another style I like is turnover. Blazers have only turned the ball over three times tonight. Yep. Portland's uh, done a good job of taking care of the basketball. They've shown good patience. Uh, they've tried to challenge at the middle so that they can get some high percentage shots. You can see that's the most uh, that Portland has scored in this series. So they've been very, very good at the offensive end. You'd see the 
Western Conference. And we have a typo up there, but it is the Western Conference. Sonics losers last night, so they lead two games to one. Uh, Utah with a big advantage right now over San Antonio. San Antonio is without Dennis Rodman, and uh, they're ahead 46 to 32. The Utah Jazz over them. Portland and uh, Golden State find themselves two, two, two down. Oh, so let me do this. Well, it's gone. <laughs> well, I was going to er erase this. We'll wipe it out. And it well, won't stay out. We'll try it one more time. There you go. And right in there. West. There you go. There you go. So we know what conference that is. <laughs> It's the playoffs, folks. We gave, you, that. we gave you that halftime score between Utah and San Antonio, 46-32. San Antonio playing without Dennis Rodman, a one-game suspension and a $10,000 fine for uh, the activities in Saturday's ball game. How'd you like all those other fines? Worth it? Utah is winning for the third time. Utah is winning, 46-32. Big fines netted out. Yesterday by the league for all the shenanigans that have been going on. Now let's get back to this one. Portland by two. Strickland gives it up, gets it back, penetrates, hands to Buck Williams. He's seven for seven. Sixteen in the game. That's what making the extra pass means. That someone will be open. That time it's Buck Williams after the penetration of Rod Strickland. Strickland with nine assists in the game. Elijah Watt definitely ought to look at this. Good D that time. Big fella missed. Strickland penetrates. Tip in attempt by Dudley doesn't go. And Horry up for the ball to Kenny Smith. Kicks it back out. Maxwell for three. He misses. Rexler over at Thorpe. Should have waited for his teammates. Too quick. The crowd booed, but yeah. even though that was a quick shot, that's probably what you want to try to get the Rockets to do. Play a quick up and down game. That keeps Elijah one out of the game. He's in the game that time. Oh. the words said between players, everything is all right. 64-62. Portland by two. Tension mounts now. The Rockets want to end it. They want to get out of here. Get on with other things. Rexler and his teammates say no. They want to extend it, not end it. Maxwell on the drive. He's fouled. That's going to be Drexler. Wide picks up the foul. That'll be CD's first of the game. And Mad Max is going to go to the free throw line. Maxwell has been held uh, in check for this playoff so far tonight. Uh, he is averaging almost 21 a ball game and been explosive at key times for the Houston Rockets. He was a huge story in game one as he came up with 10 points in the fourth quarter of play. He's got eight so far. He was two for seven from the field in the first half, though he had a couple of threes. Buck Williams. He's eight for eight. Score the basket, and he is fouled. This is a one place where the Rockets are going to react every time Cliff Robinson touches the ball, and Cliff has made some good decisions with the basketball. They doubled him with Otis Thorpe. Buck Williams cuts to the hoop. He's nine for nine and eight rebounds and add another point to make the score. 69 to 64. And Buck Williams now with 19 in the game. Akeem, here he goes again. Ori for two. It's isn't that something? He just knows where somebody is. Are you going to surround me? I'll find one of my teammates, and he doesn't. Now you've got the same situation at this end. They're going to make them collapse, and if they don't, Cliff Robinson has a chance to score. Here's Drexler. Steps back for three on its way. 
And Otis Thorpe up with a miss. Pass over to Smith. Pick up a midfoot by Drexler. Drexler's going to drive. Leaves it for Robinson. He penetrates. Banks it. Hustle play by Drexler. And a finishing basket by Cliff Robinson. You see Dudley trying to hold his spot against Elijah one. Can't do it, but he forces a pass out. Maxwell gives it up. Smith for three. Oh, my goodness. It's either Maxwell or it's Smith or it's inside of the big guy. He's got three. 71-69. That's all right. That's a shot that's going to break down first. Yeah, that's part of their game, and they have to have it. Robinson got hit. No call. Here come the Rockets. They can tie or take the lead. Kenny Smith. Robert Ory. And the game is quickly tied at 71. And Ory's got 14. And I think this one's going to go down to the deep wire. 71 apiece. Strickland. From the top. No. Drexler keeps it alive. Kicked it back out. Robinson, long range. Hits. Ooh, big basket by Cliff. He's got 10. So, Bill. Yes. Where is that deep wire that you're talking about? The deep, down to the deep wire, right at the end. This looks that way. 73 73 right now. Now to the final minute of the game. Buck Williams, he's 9 for 9. Would it be 10 for 10? No, he's fouled that time. And that's going to be on Elijah Wan, and that's his third of the game. Three on Akeem. Maxwell checks to make sure he's all right. He nods. But uh, Buck Williams had the idea of challenging in the middle. He had a good head of steam up, felt he'd be able to at least get a shot away. Got the whistle. Buck Williams to untie. Oh, That's his first miss at the line. He was nine for nine, and uh, Buck's game this evening reminds you of, uh, of the way that Charles Oakley played for the New York yeah. Knicks uh, without Patrick Ewing. Came and gave them a huge game. 20, 25 unexpected points. And Buck's got 20 tonight. That was his first miss at the free throw line. More than by one. Spread the court, the Rockets do. Now Maxwell fakes right, goes left. Jump switch, Cliff Robinson. Oh, man, Max is going to take the three. He's not going to get this one. Long rebound to Robert Ory. He launches for three. Hits Robert Ory. Incredible. Rockets lead by two. Ory with 17. That's his third three tonight. Well, picked up the foul. That'll be uh, his second of the game. Rockets lead by two. Blazers did not want to let their game get away from them. They played a good game tonight to this point. We got an offensive foul. on that screen and Tom Donovich and the Rockets will take a timeout. 6.58 remaining to be played in the third period. The Rockets lead by two. The secret to being a good screener is to make sure that you set the pick. The problem for Buck Williams was he was still moving as Kenny Smith got nailed and ended up on the floor had words to say when he came out now the real interesting story of tonight's ball game has been whenever there has been any kind of emotional display by the Rockets it has been Bernard Maxwell the guy that has quieted them down the Rockets have the other weapon going for them tonight they are outscoring Portland 21 to 3 in three-point field goals so their inside out got in, inside outside game is going and this will be a real test for Portland 
to shut them down. Only one field goal so far for Portland in the quarter. And the Rockets have the ball on a two-point lead. Ori the cover. They lob it to Elijah Watts. Batted away and broken up by Dudley. Glaciers now can tie. Robinson does. From Brad Strickland, who has 10 assists in the game. The game is tied at 76. Six and a quarter for Cliff, 12 in the game. The fourth. And Muscles in for two. Buck Williams did as much as he could do on Otis Thorpe. But Thorpe hasn't been a factor so far at the offensive end. He's only gotten six points, and he's had to earn every one of those. Cliff again. Yes, ties the game. Cliff Robinson, Rod Strickland, 78 apiece. Smith around the pick from outside. Buck Williams for the rebound. Now when they miss, Portland's got to be more aggressive and try to push it the other way and see if they can't get a basket in transition. Strickland pops for two over Maxwell and Kenny Smith. The two little rocket guards were all over Rod Strickland and he just threaded the needle and popped. He makes it a two-point Blazer lead. 13 assists officially for Strickland. Here's Elijah Wan and he is bump but good. You could see that one coming. That's going to be on Chris Dudley. He never had a foul that he liked in his life. And there's another one he didn't like. And they talk about, you know, Dudley meeting him early, and he does, but Elijah Wan has the lower body strength to still be able to get his position. And once Dudley sees him receive the ball, uh, he's in a real defensive posture. So it's tough for Chris Dudley. He has to have somebody really pressuring the ball while he tries to battle Elijah Wan for that spot. Elijah Wan to tie. Here we go again, folks. Don't go away. Game is even. 80 apiece. 24 in the game for Hakeem Elijah Wan. Cliff Robinson is a hot hand for the Trailblazers, and he can get a score and make the defense react. They still got to continue to go through Cliff. Drexler at the elbow. Gonna make a move on Maxwell. Hits. Close line by Clyde the Glide. 82 to 80. Drexler 14 in the game. Akeem. That's all you have to say. Over Dudley. Not this time. Over the start. Loose ball foul. Otis Thorpe. That's three on OT. Big call by the officials there. Otis Thorpe uh, battling Buck Williams got inside. You could see he's not happy with that call. But if ever there was a guy you said, I want to draw up a body for a power forward, oh, Otis yeah. Thorpe has. You got that right. I love his game. Portland by two. Ori pumping Robinson. Drexler pops out. Now he's going to drive in traffic to Cliff. He's going to take the shot. He hits on the move. Holy oh, backboard. 10 in the quarter, 16 for the game. He's winding up. Cliff Robinson, 84 80. Four and a half minutes to go in a third period of game three. Can Portland pull it off? Elijah Wine. And Drexler with the ball to Strickland. Tap pass. Robinson with a jam. That's the way to kick it up the floor. 18 for Cliff. 12 in the quarter. Time out. Houston. The sights and the sounds of Portland's Memorial Coliseum, Game 3.
18 remaining to be played in the third period and it's the Rod Strickland Cliff Robinson show and then add another ingredient Clyde Drexler and the Blazers have themselves a six point lead. Nicely done Steve. Now This crowd trying to drive this team to a victory. Really uh, happy to see the team respond after the Rockets got the lead. Uh, they have had patience and good efficiency at the offensive end of the floor in an offensive firefight. Rockets have the ball. Portland leading by six. It's just the third period and four minutes to go in the third. Shot clock down to ten for the Rockets. Thorpe the high pick. Shot clock at five. And down to four, and Strickland uh, tapped the ball away. Now, the bad thing was he kicked it. So they had him new going against the shot yeah. clock, and then they ended up with the new 24 because tough, of the kick. Tough break. Corey will inbound. Robinson up on Ori. Now they're going to do a key, medium low post. Smith finds Ori. He roll around and down. Robert Corey from Kenny Smith, 86-82. Yeah. with 19. Big play for Robert Ory and the Rockets. They made a good read under some pressure. Ory had a nice finish. Robinson had it batted away. It's loose on the floor, and Kenny Smith up with the ball. Maxwell inside Rakeem. But right to Dudley. Threw it right to him. Dudley to Strickland. Up the middle. Batted away and loose. And the Rockets up to the ball. Kenny Smith leaves it for Akeem. Did he travel? He certainly did. Not called. And then they're going to call a foul. Or. Buck Williams picks up a foul. The crowd doesn't like that call. One eye open. Down in here, they cut Elijah one off. He spins back in. It looked like he was going to travel, but that was a good move, and he was the first one to get back to it. So Buck Williams will come out of the game. As well as Rod Strickland, Terry Porter, Mark Bryant in. New 24 out along the side. Ori will inbound. 86-82, Portland on top. Or he's one of the hot men looking for Akeem. Uh, Dudley slips and falls, and Akeem jams it. He just slipped and fell, and uh, nobody else could come over and help out. He's got 26, so it's a two-point Blazer lead. Well, that's the strength of Elijah. He just drove him to the floor. Drexler penetrates, and there's a finger roll move that he loves so well. 16 in the game, six in the quarter for Drexler. Time remaining, lower right hand corner. Elijah on, around Dudley. Oh my goodness, four. Stepped out of bounds. How lucky can you get? What a move, however, by Akeem. Cat like. Blazers get a break. They lead 88 84. Ball in the hands of Terry Porter. Porter, direction. Back to Terry. Switches to the left hand, bounces it around, ball to the side, chase down Terry Porter, and he is hammered. That's going to be on Otis Thorpe, and that's four on Otis Thorpe. Boy, he was really taken down hard. Now, the crowd wanted somebody to jump for the ball as it bounced to the floor. Porter finally realized it. They get a good break there as Otis Thorpe is saying, look, that ball was up for grabs. I didn't touch it. Terry's going to be all right. Otis Thorpe will sit down. As Terry Porter will go to the free throw line. Harvey Grant will check in for Portland. Herrera along with Matt Bullard for uh, Houston as soon as they can get the net. Terry's free throw. Up the net. Here they come. Harvey Grant and Carl Herrera there for uh, Houston. 
Bullard made an appearance, and it was a very brief one because of the matchup. This will be his first chance to actually get a run in the ball game. Yep, he played one minute in the uh, first half. There's Chris Dudley. Fans love his banging. 89-84. Get up, get up. 90-84. And it's 55 to go in the third. The fourth quarter ought to be a dandy wherever you may be. Gather your friends around and be with us. Fuller plays a little catch. Yeah. Danny Crawford calls a foul on Elijah one and back it in. That's his fourth. A team with four, and the Blazers leading 90 to 84. Cliff Robinson, drive to Drexler, baseline turnaround, fadeaway, good! What a play! What a shot! 18 in the game for Clyde. It's 92-84. And that was a big play by Portland. They pulled Elijah one out. And that's one of those shots that only Clyde can make. Elijah one out having words with Danny Crawford. This was a good play. They had Elijah one away from the basket. Clyde never saw the hoop until he turned around in midair. And there it was, a huge basket, no doubt about that, and a quick 20-second timeout. We're down to a minute 22 remaining in the third period. 92-84, Portland, trying to keep this series alive. And the good old hustle board. Tells you it's a tough ball game. Portland's got the edge in steals and a slight advantage on the hustle board, but uh, Portland has been very aggressive tonight. The Houston Rockets certainly, as the visitors have come in here with a, a, a challenge for Portland. Elijah Wan comes out of the ball game and they bring in Mario Ellie. So Portland really should think about, in this minute 22, of really trying to take that ball to the basket, either draw the foul or get the high percentage shot. Fuller down high, Smith with the ball. He's swinging around to Ellie. And the Maxwell. He's fouled on the drive. And that's going to be on Clyde Wexler. Sliding over, trying to help out his teammate, Mark Bryant. And Sam Cassell back into the Houston lineup. Maxwell, Cassell, Ellie, Bullard, and Carl Herrera. That's the rocket lineup right now. Maxwell gets the first free throw. Minute 12 to go. Vernon Maxwell. Well, Maxwell knows uh, that Portland has played two good games down there. He knew that they weren't going to go quietly. He was prepared for it. He's coming in very calm emotionally uh, and uh, really has been a peacemaker. Gets both of his free throws. Gasell all over Terry Porter. Time remaining now. Drexler. Robinson. Finds the open man. Grant takes the shot. It's going to be short. Comes right back to him. Puts it up and down. Nobody picked up Harvey Grant. Ball came right back to him and he jammed it. Blazers need good D. Maxwell from out on top. Oh, he tickled the court. NBC, he's got 12. Big shot, 94-88. Dexter penetrates. Finger roll move again. 10 in the court, 20 for the game. Five to glide. Less than 30 seconds in the third period. Maxwell spots, doesn't take the three. Swing it to L.A., he'll drive. And we got a loose ball foul on Terry Porter. That'll be his first for Terry. And at the line will go Matt Bullard. Bullard has uh, been at the line, uh, been at, has not been at the line so far in the series. Bullard has played very little in the series, but Bullard is an example of how you can make it in the NBA as being a specialist. This guy is a perimeter player at 6'10", really a very good shooter on any other team, might, might not play at all, might not even make it, but because the Rockets like to shoot three-point field goals, he fits in very nicely. He's hurt Portland on more than one occasion. And an excellent free throw shooter, and he just 
Knocks down two. All right, Strickland back in as they get Robinson to sit down. They've had a terrific third period. Want to get a good shot here. Strickland cross court. Terry for three. No. Chase down at the horn. Grant tried to put it back on a short shot by Strickland. They didn't get it to go down. However, the third period is over, and Portland leads by six. Blazers on the break. Blazers on the drive. Blazers on Broadway. That's right, Blazers on Broadway. It's the store where you'll find the largest selection in official Blazers merchandise in the world. Blazers hats, t-shirts, jackets, warm-ups, kids clothes, and you never know who you're going to bump into here. Hey, is it me? Definitely. Hey, thanks. No problem. Blazers on Broadway, downtown Portland and Lancaster Mall, Salem. Hey, how about this? Maybe you should try a hat. To the fourth period we go, and Portland leading the Houston Rockets in game three here at the MC. By six, Elijah Wan with 26 points. He's playing with four personal fouls. He'll come back into the ball game. Portland shot 60% in that third period. Also this had... has been a, a firefight. Both teams have scored 30 or better in every quarter. Yeah. Houston has been 30 in all three. Portland has 30, 32, and 34 to have that six-point advantage. So it's a team that's able to shut down the other uh, for a critical stage in a game that's going to prevail. Portland has an advantage right now. 96-60. Run their way here in the fourth period. Critical time right here. Into a team. Gets by Grant. In he goes. Tied up. Yes, jump ball. Had him surrounded that time. Elijah one was on his way, and fortunately, Mark Bryant nicked the ball. That was going to be a throwdown, so they have a jump ball between Bryant and Elijah one. They'll have to. Stole a tap, and it's going to be white ball, says Dick Pavetta. No, it's a, it's a, it's a lane by Oh, I thought he said Portland ball. He's got someone in the circle too soon. Yeah. Look, and Terry Porter's the guy that's talking, so he's the one that's guilty. Cassell, Hakeem. Gives it up, he got it back, goes to work. Hook shot. There it is. Shades of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He's got 28 in the game. Not quite as long. Terry Porter, will he spot for three? No, he double clutches, puts up one for two, big basket, big basket, big basket. Under pressure, too, Terry Porter has put seven in the game. 98-92. That's his first field goal, by the way. In this, in this fourth quarter of play, Portland's got to keep the other Rockets out of the game. Those are the guys that have been able to help Elijah one and, and them get to the 30-point mark in each quarter. He has gotten his and is going to get his. And he gets two more. Hakeem, give him 30 for the game. 98-94. Now, you gave your MVP vote to David Robinson. Have you changed your mind yet? If I had to probably vote again, yes, I just might. <laughs> Keith Erickson asked me the same thing the other night. After the guy at 46, 98-94. Hakeem again. Well, we've mentioned his name a lot, do uh, Cassell, the odd time, too. 98-96. Here they come. It's only a two-point Blazer lead. Strickland from outside. Marries it. I didn't think that had a chance to get there. Door must have been open on the other side. He's got 17. Rexler up on Vernon Maxwell to Akeem. Two more. 32. And Rick's going to call for a timeout right now. They're going to try and do something else. Timeout. 9.37 to go, my friends. Portland by two. Now, with that timeout, Steve, what does Rick do? 
or try and attempt to One, do. He's, he's got to remember that he's got to get his players to pressure the pass a little bit more, and then they've got to react a little bit quicker once Elijah Wan gets the ball. If you're going to try to force him to kick it back out with the players that they have now, then you got to make Sam Cassell a score, someone other than Vernon Maxwell, maybe Herrera, yeah. so that guy can be the double teamer. They are, they've allowed Elijah Wan to keep them in the game. He is going to score, and Cassell made one basket, and so those are the only two guys that have scored in the period. But if you can keep everybody out, out of the game and continue to score yourself, you got a chance to put them away. 198, Portland started the quarter, leading by six. Let's see, game three, not over yet. Been a good ball game, a good ball game. 60% shooting by Portland in that third period. And now they have to find a way, some kind of way to minimize what the big fella is doing. Can they get it done with 9.37 to go? The Rockets won it. This series is over. Blazers want to extend it as long as they can. New news today from the NBA. It took two weeks, but the obvious happened down in Dallas. Quinn Buckner was relieved of his coaching uh, responsibilities. And Chris Webber, you voted for him, but I this, certainly was, did. this yeah. was the closest vote for Rookie of the Year since Daryl Griffith edged out Kelvin Ramsey of the Trailblazers 1918. 53 to 47. All the other people, uh, they got votes. Don't count. Jamal Mashburn got the rest of those. Portland's been swept just one time. And you know who, the Lakers. Right on. And Chris Dudley back in the Blazer lineup. Dudley playing with three personal fouls. Grant Dudley, Drexler, Porter, and Strickland. Drexler again at the small forward spot. There's the score, there's the time. Porter with the ball, 19 seconds on the 24. Now for Portland, they've got to play like there's no tomorrow, and players, you know, can't be looking for breathers tonight. Grant had a good look. Good look, good play, designed. Out of the huddle. Didn't go. Now, defense at the other end. Look at Dudley on a keen. They're going to kick it into him. Here they go. And Dudley up for the miss. Porter breezing on the left wing on the dribble drive. Going to go all the way. And Dudley on the weak side coming across and jammed it down. You don't think that's not a big basket? A big defensive play at one end, and he jams it down at the other. Dudley intercepts a pass. And Cassell fouls Strickland on the drive. And boy, oh, Strickland was picking him up and laying him down and on his way to pay dirt. Porter on the drive, and Dudley will follow this in as Elijah Wan chased Terry Porter to put the cap on it over the top, and then at this end, he steps around and makes the steal, and this is a good foul by Cassell. Even though he complains, Portland had three on two. Oh, yeah. Strickland. Drexler pops out at the elbow, fakes, threads the needle, gives it to Porter. Dudley tried to tap it down. He was pumped, and the Rockets up for the ball. They got a four on two, and Cassell all the way to the rack, but he is fouled. He rolls into the photographers at the other end. And he will go to the free throw line as Strickland picks up the foul. Close but no cigar on the offensive end as far as Portland was concerned. This is a hard push by Cassell and really a good decision to put the pressure on the Trailblazer defense. They had numbers. They were four on two. You see Ellie had was there for the follow. So he gets the free throw, Terry Porter out of the ball game, missed a couple of shots inside, but Robinson will come back in. Dudley, Robinson, and Grant. Now Drexler slides back into the uh, backcourt. Strickland also there, obviously. Cassell only gets one of two at 102.99. Mismatch here with Harvey Grant against Mario Eli, and Elijah Wan will force him out of it. Shot clock down to 10. Drexler, bounce pass, Strickland, pops for two. Yes! 
Rod Strickland from Wyatt Drexler. 19 in the game for Rod. More than by five. Rockets are in a dogfight. Blazers are scratching and clawing and trying to stay alive. Hakeem misses. And Robinson is there. Strickland on the drive. Leaves it for Cliff. And that's going to be on the Rockets. No, it's not. It's on Chris Dudley. But for a moment, it was going to go the other way. So did the fans. Chris Dudley picks up the foul. What well, Portland doesn't want to do here is get into the penalty too early. Yeah. That's a second team foul, fourth personal against Chris Dudley. Thorpe, who has four personal fouls, re enters the ball game. Robert Ory also back in for uh, Rudy Tomjanovich. So the big guns are. Uh, Step into the up to the plate again for the Rockets. Portland leading 104 99. 720 in the books to go in the fourth quarter of game three. Hakeem. Oh, he fakes a three. And a shot by Cassell doesn't go. Blaze is on the move. They set it up. Hakeem comes out high to get the ball in the hands of Strickland. Double teamed. Swing it. Shot clock at seven. Robinson. Grant. Around Ori. And gets the Boston bounce and scores. Oh, that rattled the cage. Almost popped out, but down it went. One oh six ninety nine. Fans can feel it here tonight. We hope you can wherever you may be tonight. Elijah Wine, he scores inside. He missed his last three attempts, but he's got eight in the quarter. Thirty four for the game for big number thirty four. Elijah Wine. Well, right now you only have one other rocket on the scoreboard. That's Sam Cassell. So if you can keep the other guys out, you can continue to try to build on your lead. Drexler throws one up short. And uh, Thorpe up with the ball for the Rockets. Cassell. L.E. Almost threw it away. Elijah Wan beats Dudley to the ball. Elijah Wan gets it again. Back down for Ori for three. He hits Robert Ori for three. Lasers and their fans wanted a three-second violation in the lane, which they did not get. Now that shows you how much they believe in a three. Elijah Wan, who's been scoring inside all night long, had a two and an easy one and pitched it back out, and they end up cutting the lead in half. Strickland from the foul line. He pops for two more. Six of the quarter, 21 for the game. Rod Strickland, 108-104. And a timeout called by Houston. The hustle board with 5.18 to go in this uh, game three. Portland out on top, 108 to 104. They've done a great job on the glass and they've come up with some timely steals as Sam Cassell defending himself over there in that huddle. But uh, the Rockets hanging tough because of Elijah on. But Portland has been very, very patient here in the fourth quarter of play and they've been able to hang on to the lead. Can they pull it off? 5-18 to go. If they pull it off, there will be a game four. Blazer Cable, of course, time to be announced. Either late tonight, if that should be the case, or early tomorrow. We take a look at the Blazer bench. Five minutes and 18 seconds away to stay in the series. They've done a nice job, no doubt about that. Game was even after one. Portland had a two-point lead at the break. 
shoots 60 percent. That's a Rip City quarter in the third. That's for sure. It's been a an offensive game tonight, and both teams have had some unusual offensive heroes. You start with Buck Williams for Portland, then you kick in Harvey Grant. Robert Ory had a huge game. Mariah Strickland has had a terrific game throughout, but really got going in that second quarter of play. Here's Rod Strickland's stat. One assist shy of a team record for a playoff game. Rod Strickland very close. 14 assists. Rockets have the ball. Portland leading 108 104. Cassell. Up the foul away from the ball. Dudley. That's five. That's five on Chris Dudley. They would really bang it, the big guy. Now, do they get him out of there right now? It looks like uh, Buck Williams is going to come in. Or maybe they're going to leave him in there for a while. Up they are. They're going to bring Chris out. All right, Dudley out. He'll be back in. And Buck Williams. All right, Clip, Clip has got the job of guarding Elijah one. And again, nobody, nobody's really going to be able to keep him from getting the position. And you got to help that defender by pressuring the basketball. So they have to take a lot more time to get it in there. Elijah Wan misses a 10 foot baseliner. 4.50 to go in the game. 108 104 Portland. They have the lead and the ball. Robinson going to be short. But gets the ball back, puts it up, short. Blazers fail to score. Here come the Rockets again. Akeem. How many times? Missed a short jumper, but there was Otis Thorpe and Strickland strips him of the ball. Good play. Gets it up, gets it back. Strickland on the drive. Over for Buck Williams. They score. One ten, one oh four. Buck Williams with twenty two. Rod Strickland fifteen assist. Playoff record for Portland. Little drive by Maxwell, but the ball battled away from him. Maxwell gets through, but Drexler reaches in and knocks that one away. Looked like the ball bounced off Maxwell. Harvey Grant making the call for the official, but he didn't have a shirt on, so it didn't count. And we have ourselves a timeout, but we're down to 3.52 remaining to be played in the game. 110-104. Rockets will still have 10 seconds on the clock, and they call another timeout to regroup. But it was a six-point spread after three, and now down to 3.52. Mark it down. Three minutes and 52 seconds to go. It's 110 at 104. It's been a good one, Steve. A good one. It's been an outstanding game. Right? This is uh, what you expect to play off basketball. One team trying to stay alive and really giving everything that they have. The other trying to end the series and been being very effective in what they do. But Portland has the lead and, uh, and has had the Rockets a little bit tentative in the last couple of possessions and trying to get the ball inside to Elijah Watt. Terrific shot by Harvey Grant that bounced around a couple of times and then nice drives by Rod Strickland scoring himself and then dishing it off a moment or two ago to Buck Williams flying down that wing. Buck's got 22. He set the tone of the evening. Buck did with his 12 big points and hustle play and rebounding in that first quarter. And now that's where we are. 110-104 with 3.52 remaining. Uh, Utah leads at uh, oh boy. the San Antonio series in a big, big way, and they're hurt by a couple of things. No Rodman, David Robinson a little banged up, but Utah trying to really put a psychological hammer on the San Antonio Spurs. Atlanta loses. They expected to win that series. Chicago closes out the injured Cleveland Cavaliers. 
I have not heard a crowd in this building sounding like this in a long time. And it's good to hear. They're on their feet. Shot clock down to five. Kenny Smith over to four. And Robinson gathers up the miss. OT doesn't miss many of those. Now this is a big possession right here. On a post up, Rod Strickland against Kenny Smith. And he gets the bounce. It hit the iron. Kiss the glass. And down it goes. Eight in the quarter. 23 for the game. And of course, those 15 assists. Well, we said that was a big possession, and it was. Elijah Wine. Ori for three. Thorpe the putback. They're hanging in there. 112, 106. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Games like this. It's the way they should be. And now it comes down to you know good execution at both ends of the floor, good decision making. Right. They're looking for the pick and roll. Drexler, Buck Williams, and Clint Robinson keeps it alive, but it's batted away from him. And Portland will get it back, says Danny Crawford. Danny Crawford telling Otis Thorpe, I could have called the foul, OT. Yeah, that's exactly right. Didn't, wouldn't you rather have it this way? <laughs> Grant, lobs it into Clyde. Thorpe on Drexler, back out to Strickland, pops in the middle. It would have been good had it gone, but the outside official, Pavetta, Calls a foul on Kenny Smith. Well, Harvey Grant is really officiating tonight. He's yeah. not doing a very good job, <laughs> but he is officiating tonight. Kenny Smith gets a foul. Harvey Grant then turns around and points to Elijah Watt, <laughs> just like he had that call down at the other end. So Harvey's doing everything he can to get the Trailblazers and himself. One more playoff game. This is the guy that hasn't seen any playoffs since his uh, NBA career started with the Washington Bullets. He wants to keep it going. Ryan Strickland. This is the front end of the free throw. Franchise record in the playoffs. He gets the second one. Ryan Strickland has been the offensive fourth here in the uh, fourth quarter. He's got nine in a quarter. 24 for the game. Into a game. What a move. What a move. Robinson need a little help there. He didn't get any. 36 points. That's just a greatness. Team. That's just the greatness of Elijah Wan. Oh, he reeled and came back the other way and the quickness got him the hoop inside. He's cat like, no doubt about that. He's terrific. 13, 108. Two minutes coming up. Shot clock at five. Robinson fakes, puts it up. Will it go? No. Gathered in by Robert Ory. And a near steal by Harvey Grant. Twenty-one seconds on the shot clock. Ooh, almost Harvey. Blazers need to play some D now. Time remaining in the game. Five-point Blazer lead. A team kick it back out. Maxwell out of bounds off quarter. Now Buck Williams unhappy because he got locked up by Otis Thorpe. Uh, that ball bounced off his head. He had no chance to react to it. Minute 24, minute 34 to go. Watch it unfold, folks. Akeem Smith. Illegal defense. On Portland. And it's just their first violation, but now uh, again a new 24 in a minute 25. Now Harvey Grant is going to be the guy that's guilty as he stepped right there. He's inside. His man is out here. Here we go. Akeem short. He doesn't miss those, but he missed it. Blazers have the ball. The fans can feel it now. Time remaining coming up to a minute. 113, 108. Strickland penetrates. Hit the ball batted away. Drexler gets it fade away. But Williams keeps it alive. 
Up the middle to Drexler, he wanted to jam it and he fouled. Buck Williams, who set the tone of this game, ladies and gentlemen, right from the start, just probably put the capper on the whole thing a moment ago. Well, that was a big rebound, and Drexler came in with uh, a real hard effort to try to throw it down, but he had to shoot that jump shot against the shot clock. Buck Williams was on the other side to keep it alive, and then he challenged with no chance he was going to get a dunk on that, but he picks up the foul. Rick Adelman telling his team now, think about clock when you get the ball back. Otis Thorpe picks up the foul, his fifth. But CD at the line. This is a different team. This is a team that has pulled together as much as they were torn apart in that game down in Houston and unhappy with each other in the way that they played. Uh, they have pulled for each other this evening. They've helped each other. Right and on. they have the advantage on the scoreboard. You got that right, Snaps. That's terrific. As Rector made one, missed the second. Lane violation. And a lane violation. So. Make the score 114 108 and a timeout. Take a look at this, Steve. Drexler wanted this one and aimed it. Knew he missed it when it left his hand. And uh, they said a lane violation. We'll get another look to see if Drexler is there before the ball hits the rim. That's close. That's close. That's, That's exactly very, right. very, very close. Shades and Michael Jordan in the playoffs a couple of years ago. 114-108 with 54.3 ticks of the clock remaining. And the Rockets will have the ball. They love it here at the MC tonight. Listen in. That's the series right now. Game four, if it's to be, time to be announced. But Blazer Cable, make your plans to be with us. If the Blazers pull this off with 54 seconds and a skosh to go, and the game time on Friday to be announced, TBA. If it's a game five Sunday in Houston, NBC. They're on their feet here at the Coliseum. Harvey Grant has been the spiritual force after on the floor. He has been very emotional, keeping the crowd involved in the ball game. And what Portland has to do is really continue to take care of the basketball when they get it, but don't give up a quick three right now. Six turnovers only in the game. Elijah one. Kick it back out. Kenny Smith. He misses. Scramble for the ball. Drexler, two on one. Strickland. Oh, he's fouled. He is fouled by Vernon Maxwell. They're good friends. And Vernon prevented an easy two. Drexler and Rod Strickland on a two on one. Maxwell knows he doesn't want Strickland to get a chance for a three point play, so he pulled him off the ball. And Strick will go to the line. 37.4 ticks of the clock remain. This could be the icing on the cake right here. There's one of them. One fifteen, one oh eight. Twenty five points in the game. Rod Strickland, 15 assists, the franchise record. He missed the second end of the free throw. One fifteen, one oh eight. Watch out for those threes now. Maxwell for three. I need not say any more. Bingo. 115, 111. Well, you know the rock. The Rockets are going to foul. That was a deep, deep three. 
Uh, and that's what Maxwell is capable of doing. Uh, they've got a foul. They've got to get possession of the ball. What Portland needs to do is lock down on their free throws and keep a two-possession game. Maxwell walked in front of Drexler, had a little give me a miss. Yeah, right. 26 seconds to go. Big free throws right here. And the first big free throw was missed. 115, 111. When just when you think things are uh, okay, how quickly the tide continues. Why get one? 116, 111, and another timeout is called by the Houston Rockets to lead in the series two games to none, and now are facing a fourth game on foreign soil. So what does Rudy say? Rudy says take the first score available. They got to get a score. They got to take the two or the three, but they can't use a lot of time and get in it because if they do, Portland, if they get the ball back, is just going to volleyball it around and run out of here. So they want to give themselves a couple of chances to tie the ball game or possibly win it. Adelman is telling his team, when you get the ball, don't hang on to it. Get it out of there, pass it, keep it moving around so that the Rockets can't get to you. You can eat up some time. One sixteen, one eleven. On a rather emotional night here at Portland's Memorial Coliseum, right from the start. See their field goal percentage, and uh, they have really been sharp tonight through the series. They have struggled, but it's been good patience at the offensive end and reading uh, the defense of the Houston Rockets that's allowed Portland to shoot the ball that well. The Rockets continue to shoot the ball well, and this is one of those games where you, you're playing for one team to break down for maybe only a minute or two in a game which both teams have scored the ball well, have been very very efficient. Paul Allen breathing a whole lot easier right oh, now. Oh yeah, he wasn't smiling like that down at the summit in Houston, but he's got a big broad grin tonight. Williams, Drexler, Robinson, Strickland, and a Harvey Grant back out on the hardwood. Leading 116-111 with exactly 26 seconds remaining. Houston still with that huge advantage, but that's the strength, that's part of their strength, the inside game of Elijah on and their willingness and their ability to make three-point field goal. Kenny Smith launches for three. Otis Thorpe keeps it alive, back to Maxwell for three. And he's fouled. He's fouled by Clyde Drexler with 17 seconds to go. Don't argue now, Clyde. They can only get two out, out of here. Well, no, they, you, you can only get two out of this possession. What Portland wants to do again is get the ball, volleyball it around. Say he nicked him right on the elbow. Maxwell said, that's a sensational call. Drexler said, you can't give him that now. He gets the first free throw. Now Sam Cassell will check in and they're going to bring Cassell in. They're thinking about who they want to substitute for. They want to give a foul up here on the scoreboard if they can. They're going to get Thorpe out of the game. They want to get the scoreboard right. Adelman is complaining because it's it's incorrect. Hey, our own guys, they're giving the opposition more points. Well, he knew when he went after at a five-point lead, yeah, one, right. one shot doesn't make it a three-point lead. Right on. Terry Porter checking in. Now, Terry Porter will come into the ball game, and Buck Williams will come out. All of this with 17 seconds to go. Vernon Maxwell, old man Maxwell, have one more free throw. Officials have it all sorted out, and here we go. Maxwell at the line. He misses the rebound to Harvey Grant. Oh, but he was out of bounds. 
Harvey. Now Harvey's upset. Uh, what Harvey has Elijah to do is says, give him a team. Well, of course. But uh, what you want Harvey to do is get out of there and calm down. Get away from the official. Don't make a mistake right now. The Rockets, they sit no timeout, but they're not going to take one. 15.2 ticks of the clock to go to get it back. And for the leading 116-1 foul. Three-pointer, Maxwell on loads. He hits Vernon Maxwell. 116-115. A couple of threes. There's Terry Porter, pressure to the backcourt. Eight seconds to go. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know, all you have to do is get one more than the other guy. But uh, and you walk out of here. However, what a dramatic finish here by the Rockets. Three-pointers. Maxwell deep again, about uh, four feet behind the three-point arc. Nothing but net, and he's come up with two of those right here at the end of the ball game. Terry, Terry Porter will go to the free throw line for the Trailblazers with eight seconds to go. 8.3 with Otis Thorpe in the ball game. Well, Elijah Wan will sit down. Oh, Robert Ory in also. Elijah Wan will sit down. Maxwell, Cassell, Ory, Thorpe, and Kenny Smith. Now, free throws by uh, Terry Porter. No timeouts remaining for Houston. They're done. Houston. Porter makes both of these. You've got to think about finally the Houston Rockets. Oh! He missed the first one. And Ory. And Cassell with their body English forcing the ball out. Now Elijah Wan back in. Portman is at the free throw line. And you wonder sometimes why I say you've got to make your free throw well, four for nine. Both teams uh, trying to get uh, matchups in. Elijah Wan was out for the one free throw, comes back in. Grant goes out, but Williams comes back in. Terry Porter trying to give Portland a two-point advantage with this free throw. The Rockets are out of timeouts. No timeouts for Houston. Porter's big free throw. Portland has plenty. They've got three. Rockets are out of timeouts. Long pass. Look out. Look out. Maxwell for the win. Maybe it's short. And Porter grabs it down. And he is fouled with 2.6 seconds to go. They tried to go for the jugular, but it was short. Well, they went for the win. Oh, yeah. Maxwell and uh, went for the win at that point. They had at least a chance to maybe set up. They didn't have a lot of time, so they lobbed the ball long and deep. And Maxwell thought he had an advantage right there. Drexler catches up, but you see Elijah Wan was in deep against Cliff Robinson, so they might have been able to get a two-point score and tie the game. And, and that's what he's telling Cliff. I was there. And you know I can score on you. Porter misses the first. You've got to make your free throws as Terry missed one again. 2.6 seconds to go in game three. More than five. Two and a lot of time if Terry makes the one or a three pointer to send it to OT. Oh my goodness, as Rick calls a timeout, all you have to do is sit back and watch now. It's up to TP. You heard Rick Adelman tell his team after Terry makes his free throw, they get the ball in. And you foul them so they get the ball back. You don't want them to get the three-point shot. So what Portland wants when Porter makes this shot is possession of the basketball. That's all they care about. What a dramatic finish. And now, let's see, Rudy's going to uh, send in a Bullard. Well, Bullard, again, is a three-point shooter. Why. And you Rudy knows right. that if this shot goes in, they got to have a three to tie. And, Dick Pavetta is saying free substitution, and we're ready to go. Out of this, you want to make sure that you're matched up so that no one sneaks away and, and can make a, a long pass and get in position for a quick deep shot. But once Porter makes a shot, 
You want to think about fouling as soon as the ball comes in to get possession of that ball. Here we go. He's got it. Otis Fuller. Long pass to Fuller. Off his hands. Out of bounds. This one's history. Fuller makes the free throw. Put Portland up by three. Uh, the Rockets are going to try to foul 1.7. Uh, if you're Portland, you get it in and you just hold it. Buck Williams out of the game. Harvey Grant will inbound. Inbound to Robinson. And the Horn sounds the game is over. And this series continues on. Portland wins game three by three.